now some data analytics tools. We'll start first with tools that could be used in teaching analytics. So if there is a need for the teacher to be able to visualize the elements of the lesson plan, then the My Lesson Planner could be a very good tool for that. Also, the same tool could be used to visualize the alignment of the lesson plan to educational objectives and standards. The lesson plan creator would be a very good data analytics tool to validate whether a lesson plan has potential inconsistencies in its design. Other teaching analytic tools that could be useful so we have the lesson planner. Now this one supports the process of sharing a lesson plan with peers or mentors and allow them to provide feedback. Another analytic tool is what we call the common curriculum. Now this one allows peers to jointly analyze and annotate a common teaching design in order to allow for co-reflection. Let's take a look now of some um, data analytic tools intended for learning analytics. We have YET Analytics. This is in some sort of one of the most complete learning record or store data visualization tool on the market today. Um, it uses XAPI to develop its platform. And it provides a whole lot of different visual analytics to help you improve your learning content and help your students learn as well as possible. Yet, provides insightful analytics on talent development, role read read readiness, and care career pathing. It also provides rich engagement analytics through different learning ecosystems. This tool provides precise, predictive analytics solution. Another tool would be WoodClock. WoodClock is an audience response app and is one of the best tools to improve in-class students' engagement. The Belgian startup proved they could greatly improve students' learning via their playful system of in-class quizzes app. All thanks to the students' smartphones, the fact of the matter is that this app is also a learning analytics tool. And why is that so? They provide analytics to professors. Indeed, they can easily check who responded to what and how much time they took to answer. They provide a feedback wall so that students can communicate like during the course and after to their professors and tell them what part of the course was difficult to understand or which part was great enough. Thus, it's a great qualitative data provider. Another tool is BrightBytes. Um, this one provides a SaaS-based data analytics platform focusing on four basic frameworks that measures the effects of technology in a school. Their analytic tool lets you evaluate how teachers and students use technology for learning. It studies the availability of devices and internet access throughout the school and at home. It also measures the skill levels of teachers and students with multimedia. It evaluates the school culture, professional development, and technology needs across the organization. Another tool is Clever and is one the U.S. most growing startup in educational technology right now. Um, it provides a single sign-on tool to students and teachers in order to navigate between all software and learning resources. Uh, Clever recently launched Goals. Now, Goals tool 
Let's teacher set objectives for each of their students like activities to do, resources to use, and so on. Then it lets professors track the progress of their students with accuracy like students can follow their progress too. Though its data analytics is not as far in terms with what yet analytics could do, but still, it's a very interesting solution to assist students in their learning process and to check their personal engagement with learning resources. Newton is an impressive U.S. startup providing a platform that aims at facilitating adaptive learning through data analysis. So by analyzing real-time performance data of students, Newton Alta is higher education solution, helps professors adapt their courses to each of their students and track their progress. Newton provides also its own verified online courses that will automatically adapt to students' progress. It provides a complete learning analytics solution for enterprises, focusing on the best data and insights to help educators adapt and improve their content according to learners' needs. Newton is already quite famous, but their continuous improvement is just as fantastic. Then, of course, spreadsheets can be used in data analytics. Spreadsheets are widely used for statistical analysis, and while they're incredibly useful too, they are useful only to a certain point though. So when used for a task they're not designed to perform or for a task at or beyond the limit of their capabilities, it could also be somehow risky. Now the analyze feature, analyze data feature in Excel empowers you to understand your data through natural language queries that allow you to ask questions about your data without having to write complicated formulas. In addition, analyzed data provides high-level visual summaries, trends, and patterns. All you have to do is simply select a cell in a data range. Then you select the Analyze Data button on the Home tab. Analyze Data in Excel will analyze your data and return interesting visuals about it in a task pane. If you do not have a question in mind, in addition to natural language, analyze data, analyzes, and provides high-level visual summaries, trends, and patterns. So you're going to experience this one with the next topic, um, with Mr. Jade Montemayor. Okay, another tool is RapidMiner. Um, RapidMiner is a data science software platform developed by the company of the same name that provides an integrated environment for data preparation, machine learning, deep learning, text mining, and predictive analysis. This is also one of the tools mentioned in the video about data mining. Another tool is WIC or the Waikato, Waikato Environment for Knowledge Analysis, developed at the University of Waikato, New Zealand. And this one is a free software license under the GNU General Public License and the companion software to the book, Data Mining, Practical Machine Learning Tools and Techniques. Weka is a collection of machine learning algorithms for data mining tasks. It contains tools for data preparation, classification, regression, clustering, association rules, mining, and visualization. Another tool is Kill, or knowledge extraction based on evolutionary learning. And this is also an open source Java software tool like Weka that can be used for a large number of different knowledge data discovery tasks. Kill provides a simple graphical user interface based on data flow to design experiments with different data sets 
and computational intelligence algorithms, paying special attention to evolutionary algorithms in order to assess the behavior of the algorithms. It contains a wide variety of classical knowledge extraction algorithms, pre-processing techniques like training set selection, feature selection, discretization, imputation methods for missing values, among others. Computational intelligence-based learning algorithms, hybrid models, statistical methodologies for contrasting experiments, and so forth. It allows to perform a complete analysis of new computational intelligence proposals in comparison to existing ones. Moreover, Kiel has been designed with a twofold goal, research and education. Another tool is the text analyzer. So what is a text analyzer? A text analyzer is a simple tool for automatically analyzing text. So there are a different types of text analysis techniques from sentiment analysis to topic classification, which allow you to gain detailed insights from your text data. Another very helpful tool is the Tweet Sentiment Visualization. Now, this tool is very helpful if, for example, um, you did your discussion and you want to know the sentiments of your students through their tweets after that very difficult topic of discussion. So, Sentiment Viz focused on visualizing the sentiment of tweets posted on Twitter. But as we all know, our students are really into Twitter. So, we know that Twitter is an online social network that allows users to upload short text messages or tweets of up to 140 characters. So this restriction encourages users to construct focused, timely updates. So tweets are now being archived actually at the U.S. Library of Congress. Twitter has also shown the potential for societal impact, like for example, in its use as a communication and organizing tool for activists during the 2011 Arab Spring protest in the various Middle Eastern countries. So we could use this tool to analyze really the tweet sentiments of our students after a difficult or challenging lesson in class. And that ends our discussion of the different analytics tools that we could use. Mm -hmm.